Good morning, good afternoon. Hi. Uh, <clears throat> this is the article. You should have it pulled up. I would have it side by side uh, with the quiz, um, just so you can have it ready. That being said, here we go. The United States underwent dramatic changes during the beginning of the 19th century. The United States began to expand as settlers moved into new territory west of the Appalachian Mountains. At the same time, renewed conflict with American Indian nations and Great Britain both posed a challenge to the fragile new republic. All three of these factors played a role in the coming of the War of 1812. Americans embrace westward expansion. The Louisiana Purchase of 1803 added a huge piece of new territory to the United States. This intensified American migration to the West, which was already well underway. American settlement in the 18th century had mostly happened along the East Coast. As a result, the main population centers of early North America were found on the coast and along major rivers. By 1790, the fast-growing population of the United States had reached 3.9 million, but only 5% of Americans lived west of the Appalachian Mountains, which run from Maine to Georgia. By 1820, however, the total U.S. population had reached 9.6 million, and 25% of Americans lived west of the Appalachians. This period of American settlement in the new territory was known as Western expansion. Rapid population growth and geographic ex expansion caused a great deal of conflict. Native Americans in the West resisted American expansion and fought renewed wars in the early 19th century. In addition, plantation slavery was expanded beyond the coastal areas of the Southeast. This meant that huge numbers of slaves were forcibly moved to new territories. But the majority of white Americans saw Western expansion as a major opportunity. It promised independence and success to anyone willing to meet the hardships of frontier life. The War with Great Britain, again. The War of 1812 served as a turning point in the history of the United States. The United States survived a second war with its former colonial ruler, Great Britain. In the process, it called forth a national effort that helped Americans from, from different regions pull closer together. While Western movement was reshaping the United States, European wars also presented a major challenge to the new country. The Napoleonic Wars were a continuation of the conflict begun in the 1790s when Great Britain fought against France during its revolution. Now, however, France was led by brilliant military strategist Napoleon Bonaparte. Neither European superpower, neither European superpower respected the neutrality of the United States. Instead, both tried to prevent U.S. ships from carrying goods to their enemy. Most historians now agree that the War of 1812 was a Western war with Eastern labels. In other words, the real causes of the war came from the desire for control of Western Native American lands and clear access to trade through New Orleans. The United States entered the war hesitantly. There was strong opposition from the Federalists in New England, who wanted friendly relations with Great Britain. When Congress declared war in June 1812, votes were heavily divided the Second War for American Independence. In the War of 1812, the United States once again fought against the British and their Native American allies. For this reason, some historians see the conflict as a second war for American independence. The Three-Year War marks a traditional boundary between two periods in the early history of the United States. The first period had strong ties to the more colonial world of the 18th century. The second period, after the war, was marked by developments that contributed to a more independent American society and culture. During the war, the British launched a failed attack on Fort McHenry in Baltimore Harbor. After witnessing the attack, Francis Scott Key wrote a poem later called 
the Star Spangled Banner. It became the official national anthem of the United States in 1931, claiming victory despite frequent military defeats. Although the War of 1812 served as an important turning point in the development of an independent United States, the war itself was mostly a political and military disaster for the country. The cost of the war was enormous, and New England talked of leaving the Union. American military opposition was so weak that the British stormed into Washington, D.C. after winning the Battle of Bladensburg and burned most of the public buildings, including the White House. President James Madison had to flee the city. His wife, Dolly, gathered valuable national objects and escaped with them at the last minute. It was the low point of the war. The War of 1812 came to an end mainly because the British public had grown tired of their 20-year war against France. Now that France was almost defeated, the minor war against the United States lost popular support in England. On December 24, 1814, the Treaty of Ghent was signed in Belgium, bringing the war to a close. The treaty called for British and American territory to be, to be restored to its boundaries before the war. At the start of the 19th century, much of North America had yet to become a part of the United States. After the War of 1812, the United States began to develop in a more distinctly American fashion. The years of the early Republic had been a period of enormous change that included dramatic political developments, as well as the surge of Western settlement. America was growing up. And now is the time where I would normally give you the quiz. With that being said, I emailed it only to the people that are currently passing my class. If you're not passing my class, you don't need to be taking this quiz just quite yet. You need to catch up on missing work. So you all need to be quiet, for the rest of the period so everybody can get their stuff done if you have got your quiz done and you have nothing else to do my advice wikipedia the state of indiana just literally, literally look it up it's what we're doing next week learning about the history of the state of indiana that being said good luck and uh get your stuff done